all people have cultural rights, regardless of where we live or how much money we have. We have the freedom to choose what we like to do in our spare time, which places we like to go to and how we live. Each society has a different view on this, just like the way in which some like to eat pizza while others prefer couscous. We're all part of our society and contribute to cultural life. By posting something on social media, we're sharing our opinion on a topic. By wearing certain clothes, we're expressing our personality and we are showing that we belong to a certain group. When we go to the cinema, we're supporting filmmakers. All of this and much more is participation in cultural life. Whatever we do, we always contribute to shaping our society and our environment. If, for example, we go to an exhibition on homelessness or LGBTQIA+, we are showing what we think is important for our society. We're also supporting the community behind the exhibition. All groups in our society have the right to their own cultural space, which they can shape for themselves. If musicians write songs, they are creators. It is their intellectual property. If scientists publish studies, they are also creators. Thus, if we use their work, for example, by sharing it on social media or using it in a presentation, we must quote their names. By doing this, we protect their creations and we support musicians and scientists in their work. However, we do not bear the responsibility alone. Organizations and associations must make sure that everyone has equal opportunities. This means, for example, that all people can access museums, libraries and sport facilities. Some places are not accessible for wheelchairs. Sometimes there is no translation into sign language or there are no audio guides available, even though not everyone is able to read. It is the responsibility of every one of us to design places and spaces in such a way that all people can contribute to cultural life. UNESCO, a specialized agency of the United Nations focusing on the fields of education, science and culture, invests huge efforts into protecting these cultural rights.